welcome to the Bobman and Wenford Railway. Well, today the Cornwall Channel is sending butts on the train here at Bodmin and Wenford Railway. Uh, we like to send them on these wonderful adventures, and here is a great place to start. <laughs> You're all ready for this, yeah, I'm ready, ready for, for that, mate, yeah. Jimmy, um, tell us a little bit about today. What's going to happen? Um, well, we're all going to get on this train on our left here, yep. and we're going to go down to Bodmin Parkway on it, which is where we have our mainline connection. Yep. So we might see First Great Western down there on the way to Paddington. Now the engine on this train today is, it's got a number, 4247. It is a Great Western Railway tank engine yes. built in 1916. It's a big black engine and it's ugly and it's brute force, so we call it the Beast of Bodmin. <laughs> this is the business end. Yeah. We get up to this one. This, this is where it all. Well, mind your head. Okay. Because just where you stand up is where the uh, bulkhead is. Oh, right. Well, okay. This is Paul Foster, okay. who is the fireman for the day. Right. And he's the man that shovels all the coal. Right. By the end of the day, he will probably have shoveled two or three tons of coal. Right. Okay. So um, it keeps us fit. Everything that side's dirty. Everything okay. that side's hot. Right, okay, so where do you stand then? Dirty or hot? In the middle? Somewhere in the middle? Yeah, somewhere in the middle. So, in layman's terms, what goes on in here? Okay, um, this is the driver's side. Yeah. I'd normally be standing that side. Essentially, you've got a great big boiler in front of you. The fire there heats the water. Yeah. And then with this valve here, the driver sends the steam to the cylinders and, and makes the engine go. Right. You've got your gear stick, so you can go forwards and backwards with this. Over here, you can see how much boiler pressure we've got. Right. See how much water there is in the boiler. Yeah. Because you never want to let it run out of water. Okay. It's fairly empty. No, that's fairly full at the moment. Oh, is that good, is no, it? that's fairly oh, full. Oh, that one. Oh, sorry, I was looking at this, this one. Is, this, this is heating in the carriages. Right. As I say to the children, this is go faster coal. All right. <laughs> Go faster, Absolutely. How do you get into a job? Oh, it's a dream job, isn't it? If you're a railway It's absolutely diesel. brilliant. Yes. Yeah. Being uh, well, w working for myself helps because um, you can you can try and work it around work then. But um, yeah, it's 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 a good good thing to do. Right. And are most engines they run on the same principle? Absolutely. Yeah. All of the engines we've got here run on the the same principle. Um, all of the controls are, are broadly the same, but. Sometimes they might be in different places or, or, or be a bit shinier on some engines than others. Well, here we are in Bodmin General's signal box, and this has been completely rebuilt over the last few years, and we have real 1920s technology. It's still working today. Hello, I'm uh, Derek Lowe. I'm the uh, signalman here in the Bodmin General signal box on the Bodmin and Wentford Railway. This is the hub of the railway where we... Uh, where all the operations are controlled from. And this is the, uh, this is the signal box, where we have some fairly old technology, but which is uh, fully operating uh, normally today. And then we have alarm signals, which uh, when things go wrong, again, some fairly old technology, but still working. Yay! Which, which show us when there's any faults or errors on the, on the railway. So these weights are indicators that we put on here when, whenever there's a warning if people are working on the tracks. Ah, oh, right. Uh, by putting these onto there, it shows okay. it gives it acts as a warning to show, that, uh, uh, to show that we mustn't pull that lever because it could endanger people. This is the steam shed, as we call it, but otherwise the depot. Right. Where the engines are serviced and prepared. So on my right, you will see engine number 30120, which is in fact built in 1899 by the London and South Western Railway. It belongs to the National Railway Museum, but we have it on permanent loan because it was once a Wade Bridge engine back in the 1950s and 60s. And on my left, we have engine number 6435, which was a great Western Railway engine built in 1937, and these engines were very common on Cornish branch lines. Well, we're going from here to Bodmin Parkway, right. three and a half miles, 
we'll come back again and then we'll go on the other line which takes us to Boscan Junction. So anybody travelling on the railway gets a 13 mile round trip. Fantastic, yeah. All by steam. Yeah. And it's filling up. We've got a lot of people hopping on board here. Yeah? It's very popular, very popular attraction. We carried almost 60,000 passengers last year. Yeah. I can see the appeal. It's, it's romantic, isn't it? Yes. And, uh, yeah. and, and this year we're running for 220 days. Right, OK. We've got yeah se seven days between now and the middle of October where we're not running, that's all. OK, so all your details are on the website. They are, yep. bodminrailway.co.uk. Fantastic, right. yeah. You've missed the most important thing, which is the driver's tea. Oh, right, OK. You yeah. wouldn't be able to go anywhere no, that's, without the driver's tea. That's the main fuel. This is, this is the authorisation to move. OK. And no other train can have that. Right. So no one can follow me. Right. Essentially, we've, we're at the top of the hill here, and, and, and we've got three and a half miles downhill from here, and it's very steep gradients as well, one in 37. Right. So as a fireman, you have to work very hard to, uh, to get the engine back up the hill. Um, yeah. It's, it's quite a challenge. So you're drinking tea all the way down there, and on the way back, the shirt's off. Something like that, yes. That's hot, isn't it? Is this a dream job? Uh, yeah, oh yes, I mean, we do it because we love it. Yes. We, we volunteers. We volunteers, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. But if it wasn't for the volunteers, this wouldn't run. Yeah. Good point. Oh yeah, it's true. Every person doing this working today. this train today yeah. is a volunteer. Right. The driver, the fireman, the guard, right. the buffet staff, yeah. the ticket inspectors, they're all volunteers. They're doing it for the love of the railway. That's right. right. Imagine. Right, in for no, no, let's be honest, we're doing it because we've got nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. <laughs> and we have the steepest gradients anywhere in the United Kingdom, so the rail, the engine has really got to work for its living, and also the crew, <laughs> shoveling lots of coal. We'll probably use, by the end of the day, about three tonnes of coal. Right. Oh, well it's now digging in for the climb, yeah, so yeah, you can yeah. really hear the engine working. Yeah, yeah. It's pulling 110 tonnes. Yeah. <laughs> hey. So you can hire the train? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and the rates are on your website? They are. Yeah? <laughs> so you'll do weddings? Weddings, um, funerals even. Funerals? Well, we, we have had requests <laughs> to throw the funeral ashes into the fire. Right. Have you really? Oh, yeah. Yes. Fantastic. As well as run scheduled passenger trains during the day, we also do special events, um, murder mystery evenings, yeah. disco trains, real ale trains, and then we have various weekend events for mainly aimed at children. We've got Peppa Pig weekend coming up, <laughs> Bob the Builder weekend, <laughs> and we've just had our, our spring steam gala when, when we actually had five engines operating over three days. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the Bobman and Wentford Railway. railway. <laughs> 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 Will that work?